Yeah, I think my philosophy of care is, is very simple, maybe a little cliche, and that is that um, I would only provide care that I would deem acceptable for a loved one. Um, and I think that's important for first with the, the technical aspects of the care, um, but also the compassionate side of the care too. I uh, perform abdominal organ transplants, uh, liver and kidney and pancreas transplants, and then um, take care of liver tumors. A lot of liver tumors in transplant or liver disorders in transplant run hand in hand. Uh, and transplantation is the most successful treatment for primary liver tumors as well. So they go hand in hand, thus the, the uh, marriage between liver tumors and transplantation. A lot of disorders are unusual and it's hard to develop an expertise when you see them infrequently. And MUSC has um, developed a, a strong infrastructure of subspecialists that can treat um, even rare disorders uh, with uh, contemporary uh, treatments and frontline treatments. And such is the case with transplantation. We're the only transplant center in South Carolina um, for liver, kidney, pancreas, heart, and lung. We're the 17th busiest kidney transplant program in the United States. Uh, transplant over 200 kidneys per year. That's especially important in South Carolina because we have one of the highest incidents of kidney failure of any state in the United States due to the high frequency of diabetes and hypertension. Our outcomes are um, at or, or better than uh, national averages. Um, we provide that care uh, throughout the, the state for the residents of, of South Carolina. Uh, with regard to liver tumors, liver tumors again are, are something that are not real common and uh, actually nationwide um, a lot of liver tumors go untreated and, and patients are told there's, there's no options for your um, liver tumor for your cancer. Uh, whereas we know that that's not true, there oftentimes are very good uh, treatment options for these patients when they get in the right hands. Yeah, I can't think of a better example f of change what's possible than organ transplantation, changing out a, a non-functioning uh, organ with a, a functioning organ. So, you know, with organ transplantation, I think it's one of the huge success stories of modern day medicine, the ability to um, replace an organ. And in the case of kidney transplant, the one year survival is about 95%. In the case of liver transplant, it's about 90%. And conversely, without those transplants, it's 100% mortality, um, short or long term. So it's an amazing example of being able to change what's possible via transplantation.